Pedro here with another video and today's video I'm gonna be going over our GBP odd trade that we took on our live stream last week so if you're new to the channel and you're looking to take your trading to the next level make sure you slap that subscribe button and hit it while you're at it you got it dude <laughs> it's absolutely free to, free to do and um, anyways if you're looking to take your trading to the next level make sure you subscribe uh, and hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time I'm live. I'm also live Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. I do come in the evenings as well, guys, so um, that is something I do uh, do sometimes. So with that being said, let's dive in, guys. We are looking at GBP Odd. We absolutely destroyed this pair, and it went in, in, our, in our absolute favor. We made over... Um, I think we cleared over about 90 pips uh, price just completely melted and uh, I'm just gonna go over this trade if you guys go to my previous live stream on GBP odd you'll be able to see the actual uh, trade go in our favor but live but in this video I wanted to kind of just go over things with you guys so let's get started let's get our charts all set up here so yes so we are looking right now at the daily we can understand that the daily um, we are looking at just the overall direction of the market guys and we saw that price was actually pushing bearish right I knew that the overall sentiment of uh, GBP odd was bearish at the time and uh, it was Friday uh, so we did have some uh, NFP news and stuff coming out but overall just knew the direction was uh, bearish right so um, not only that, just like overall uh, current price action, we saw that price was still pushing down and price came to this level over here and broke this level of support. But not only that, guys, make sure you watch closely until the end of this video because I'm going to explain exactly how I was able to make uh, over 50 pips. I did get out a little bit earlier, but how I was able to catch this trade. So make sure you guys stick around till the end. But anyways, we were in this range here. Um, and so price broke this level of support, came into this range, pulled back to this area, rejected it, but it stuck here ranging for quite some time. So after seeing that this was a level of significance and price was failing to continue to push higher, um, and so what I saw was, hey, this could be a perfect trade opportunity within this range. Uh, so what I saw was price come up to this level here, and as you can see, we're out currently on the four hour time frame. And I saw actually price create this double top formation. You can see that I've highlighted it there. Um, let me just kind of zoom in here for a sec. You guys see it right there? So yeah, so we saw a double top formation on the four hour. So that's huge. That's significant, guys. That's massive. Um, not only that, um, the higher time frame, but on the one hour, we started seeing so, so much more clarity. Price was pushing up to this level here and rejecting it yet one more time. So I'm like, okay. Here are the five main things I'm looking at, guys. And I want you guys to keep, keep closely, stick with me here, and I'm gonna explain exactly how you're able to catch trades exactly like this. So um, what I saw was I saw price come to this key level. We knew price was bearish. We also knew that price was coming to a level of support. Number two, right? Key level of, sorry, key level of resistance. We knew that this was a level of resistance. Price came here once and rejected it, and rejected it multiple times, but talking about right now price was retesting this level for a second time currently and so I knew hey this is forming some sort of a double top on the higher time frames right so confirmation double top formation pattern that's confirmation number three not only that we got a break of this level of support over here so we got that strong momentum push to the downside okay we broke this level of support we have a double top formation on the one hour and four hour super bearish sentiment overall on the daily and so I expected price to pull back to these levels and that's what we started seeing price pull back to these levels. Um, so when I saw this, all that information, we were about here around 7 a.m. Uh, when uh, we were already starting our live stream, right? So this is where I'm like, okay guys, this is what I see. This is all the confirmations I've, I've got so far. I'm expecting price to come and reject this level. If price continues to reject this level here, I'm expecting heavy sells, right? And to be quite honest with you guys, I was targeting these lows over here, which was pretty darn close to where price went, but price ended up going down even further. I did, however, take profit around here. So I didn't, I took my profits and ran, um, but price melted. I, you know, I, I had a feeling that it was going to go down below to this level here, but 
Um, again, that's something that you know you have to manage your risk properly and everything. So uh, once we narrow it down to the 15 minute, much more clear. Even the 30 minute here, you can see it's much more clear. We've got that double top formation. We saw a break of structure here. We saw a rejection of this higher uh, higher key level. Not only that, we were within this the high high higher level of the of the of the range, right? So we were at the top of the range. We were forming a double top formation. We had the strong momentum. We saw break of structure here, which was the level of support. And then we saw a heavy rejection. I started seeing these three candles here. Um, and then remember in the live stream, I said, guys, I wanna see this candle close bearish. So I waited for that close to be bearish. And then we saw, then we got in basically uh, right over here and i said this would have been a perfect entry and i believe we got her in right over right about this candle close at the top of this one here um and then we took our profits just below over here so um anyways beautiful beautiful trade i uh, just wanted to show you guys uh a clean setup that we saw we scoped out and um yeah so about 44 pips to this level here and then price actually ended up melting to over 81 pips it actually much much more over 100 pips actually um, but the safest net or safest area would have been about 80 pips so this is a great example guys of a trade that we took and we took it live um a lot of my subscribers were able to take advantage of this trade and saw it in the flesh which was awesome so um just wanted to create this video guys to show you how it is possible to spot these trades and how you can also take your trading to the next level and take advantage of the markets and you know it is possible guys and i go over these trades with all of my subscribers all the time and um yeah so if you aren't already part of the family make sure you subscribe if you're looking to take your trading to the next level so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time i'm live monday through friday 6 30 a.m eastern standard time i look forward to seeing you there and thank you so much for watching until next time